Hi, I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping, and I help creative online sellers to set up, organize, and streamline their financial systems. Whether you're looking for DIY, done with you, or done for you financials. Today, I'm talking to my Amazon sellers. Should you track your Amazon inventory in QuickBooks Online? Let's find out. So should Amazon sellers track inventory in QuickBooks Online? The answer is yes and no. <laughs> yes, because you do want to track the inventory cost in QuickBooks Online, but no, because you don't want to track all of the details of inventory in QuickBooks Online. And I'll talk about what I mean by that. The inventory functionality in QuickBooks Online is not meant for e-commerce sellers. What you see in QuickBooks Online in terms of inventory is really specific to distributors and wholesalers. And these are businesses that are invoicing customers for inventory sales. Now, being an Amazon seller or an e-commerce seller, you don't invoice your customers for sales because they're buying directly from Amazon or other uh, sales channels. Also, the functionality in QuickBooks Online inventory is very limited. And so even if you wanted to try to track inventory, um, the functionality is limited and really doesn't allow you to do a whole lot beyond just very basic inventory. And again, not for e-commerce sellers. One of the biggest mistakes that my Amazon clients make is that they're trying to set up inventory in QuickBooks. And let's go ahead and take a look and see what um, they're trying to do and what I'm trying to explain here as far as what you shouldn't be doing. All right, so I'm in the products and services list in QuickBooks Online. And as you can see, if you go to sales and then products and services, that you have the ability to set up inventory items in QuickBooks and to even track sales price, cost, quantity on hand. And you would think initially like, hey, this is great. However, this doesn't talk to your Amazon account. And as I said, it's not really meant for you as an Amazon seller. So most of my clients are going in here into QuickBooks and then setting up all of their inventory and then realizing that they shouldn't have done that. It takes a whole lot of time to set it up it gets messed up then you don't know how to fix it so avoid all of that don't attempt to set up the inventory details so actual the actual products um, one by one in the products and services list in quickbooks online so what do you do then how do you get that inventory into your quickbooks because we do want to see um, a clear view of the profitability of your amazon business so we do need to track inventory and cost of goods. And the way that I recommend to then enter that inventory cost into your QuickBooks is to use a journal entry. Ideally, you want to track your inventory totals once a month. That would give you the most clarity into your profitability. But if that's not workable, once a quarter and at the very minimum once a year, because you do need that ending inventory amount and totals for tax purposes. In a future video, I'll show you how to make the journal entry. But for now, just understand that you need to enter a total amount of inventory in your QuickBooks instead of trying to set up all the details of the inventory in your QuickBooks as I just showed you. So then how do you track inventory? I'll do another video on this, but very quickly, you can use inventory labs. If you're an Amazon only seller, then you can use inventory labs to track the details of all of your inventory and then it's made to work directly with Amazon. If you're not using um, any inventory apps, then you can download my free inventory worksheet and use that to track your inventory. And I'll link that in the description below. But basically, you would use an, in a spreadsheet to track all of your SKUs, descriptions, quantity, purchase price, and the total and then pick up this uh, total cost and that's the amount that needs to go in your QuickBooks. I'm Veronica Basek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. 
If you're ready to let an experienced and reliable financial pro help you with your Amazon accounting, check the description box below to learn more about my services and how we might be able to work together. I'm here to help you guys. If there are any topics that you want me to cover in the future, make sure that you leave me a comment below. And if this content is helping you, make sure that you leave me a comment, like, share, and subscribe to this channel so you can get all of my latest videos.